Let's begin today's Vanguard news with two Avantgarde and two Vaga support card reveals for DZBT04, because these have the same nations that Taizo and Kiyomi uses, but Sam and Nal aren't featured in Saturday's episode. Blue Deaths to Stable Health and while on rear guard, gets a continuous ability when it boosts a Blue Deaths to unit, that makes your opponent call two or more cards in hand to the Guardian Circle, if they wish to guard for that battle but it gets retired at the end of the battle you use this ability. The only way this card can become an actual threat is by combining it with Bomber Strategy Dusting, also known as the least used strategy card, until the scarier came out. Blue Deaths to Zabin M. Elkmill when discarded by your Vanguard's ability, or placed on rear guard lets you pay 3 energy, if you have a Blue Deaths to Vanguard, to add a strategy card from your drop zone. And while on rear guard, she gets 5k power when your grade 3 or higher avant-garde of vanguard attacks. This is just a la Dargentelli 2.0 for two big reasons. One being she uses energy, a resource which the deck doesn't really use outside of teching pants Mermia. And two, despite being only able to get strategy cards from the drop zone, she just needs to be called or discarded to start working. On a side note, why did Borsha Road put Ala Dargente, a mecha girl, in a deck where everyone should be piloting a giant robot? Guess Zabine was made to rectify this unesthetic choice. Battle Monk of Raging Flames Taijo while on rear guard gets 5k power for each of your opponent's rear guards retired this turn. If you have a grade 3 or higher Vaga Vanguard, did Vaga really need a potential 18k booster? Most players playing against the Vaga matchup would just use abilities that remove their front row rear guards to avoid cards like this of ever powering up. Finally, Twin Pulsive Dragon when placed on rear guard lets you pay 3 energy if you have a grade 3 or higher Vaga Vanguard to call up to 1 grade 2 or lower card from the top 5 cards of your deck. And when it's retired from rear guard by your grade 3 or higher Vaga Vanguard's ability, your Vanguard gets 5k power if your opponent's Vanguard is grade 3 or higher. I'm more convinced that Bush Road wants to make Akina and his group look weak in the first half of Divine Season 2. Outside of imitating a Keta Sanctuary unit, this card does absolutely nothing for Vaga. Shura and Falhart were already competing for energy, now here comes a card that's also competing with Obduracy Glaive Dragon as the deck's grade 3 rear guard unit, which it can't even call Obduracy Glaive Dragon itself. And that concludes this vanguard news without the bullshit. Special thanks to my Patreon members for continuing to support my content creation. Be sure to subscribe and let me know in the comments if Varga was better off not getting any support in this set.